Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul plans for WWE Crown Jewel. Braun Strowman says he will never wrestle for anyone other than himself or WWE. Bray Wyatt and WWE have talked about a return. Triple H has more surprises planned. And Kenny Omega spoke to the AEW roster at a talent meeting last month that got mixed reactions. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest, so let's get right into it. Dave Meltzer reports that WWE is holding a press conference in Las Vegas this Saturday to announce the main event for its November 5th Crown Jewel pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia. Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul is planned to headline the pay-per-view. Ahead of appearing on SmackDown tonight, Logan Paul sent out a tweet stating that there will be a massive announcement on the episode. This will be Logan Paul's first appearance on WWE television since he defeated The Miz at SummerSlam. It was announced this June that Logan Paul has signed a contract with WWE. Braun Strowman says his team talked to everybody during his free agency, but he doesn't ever plan on wrestling for anyone other than himself or WWE. Strowman was released from the company on June 2, 2021. He made his return on the September 5, 2022 edition of Raw. During an episode of After the Bell released on Friday, Strowman spoke about conversations his agent had with other companies during the time he was away from the company. Braun Strowman said, quote, We talked to everybody. People reached out about stuff and I kind of played around with the ideas. I always said in interviews and people thought I was stupid for it. I said I would never put on a pair of boots for anybody besides WWE. And I stuck to my word. I never put on another pair of boots. I went out and started my own thing, worked for myself, gave young talent a place to come and work, make a living, hone their craft inside CYN. Like I said, I stuck to my guns. I will never wrestle for anyone other than myself or WWE. And here we are, the monster is home. Braun Strowman also commented on his release from the company and how he possibly needed a break from WWE. I honestly needed a break. Nine years with the company at that point, basically in the driver's seat of a Ferrari doing 200 miles an hour for nine years straight. Everything's just blowing up by you, tunnel vision. Now I have this opportunity to step outside the bubble of the business and go, holy shit, I have done a lot of stuff. And speaking of potential returns, turns out that WWE and Bray Wyatt have discussed the possibility of him returning to the company. Here's what we know. Our own Dave Meltzer addressed recent talks that have occurred between the two sides in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, saying, quote, Regarding talk of Wyatt returning, there were definitely talks in that direction. At one point, the talk stalled, but it was said it was not a dead issue. Talks with him outside WWE had also stalled in the past as his asking price was well above what other companies were willing to pay. When he was last in WWE, the belief was that behind Roman Reigns and Lesnar, that the tier of Orton and Ronda Rousey were the highest paid pro wrestlers in the world. Dave Meltzer also wrote that Paul Triple H Levesque has more surprises planned as well, saying, quote, We were told that Paul Levesque has some surprises coming, who are not people being talked about. Since Levesque took over as head of creative of WWE, wrestlers such as Dakota Kai, Karrion Cross, and Braun Strowman have returned to the company after previously having been released. And now on to the AEW side of things. Although it is not clear if he was being serious, Kenny Omega told the AEW roster at a backstage meeting last month that he would not have hired 80% of them. AEW held a mandatory talent meeting before the August 25th edition of AEW Dynamite to address rumors of unrest backstage, alleged contract tampering from WWE, and concerns about information being leaked to the media. Our own Dave Meltzer addressed Omega's comments during the meeting in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, saying, quote, Also surfacing was a story that at the company meeting called several weeks back that the part of the speech by Kenny Omega that was described as a pep talk and tough love, but that some were irked by, a line he said that 8 out of 10 of the people there he would not have hired. One version of the story states that Kenny Omega was clearly joking when he made the comment. Omega was said to be looking at Will Ospreay when he said it and then admitted he wasn't being serious, while others were not happy with what he said. Dave Meltzer wrote, Several told us it was something totally misinterpreted and taken out of context, but others didn't like it. He also did say that the overall energy and locker room of the start of the company was more positive, perhaps in trying to recreate time and place with the current roster. 
That's a wrap for this edition of the latest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. And make sure to click that subscribe button and join us here on F4W Online.